always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I boil her up. Today we're going to be doing an exploded assembly of the toy train and then adding it to a drawing. So the first thing we want to do is create a presentation. Go ahead and hit create. Click on create view and we want to bring in our train assembly and you can do this manually. I'm going to click automatic. I'm going to change the distance to 2 and I will have to, uh, I want to make sure my trail is clicked and then I'm going to add some other um, distances to a few things. So click OK. Takes your train assembly and explodes it apart. I'm going to add a few things because if we look here, the pegs are not pulled away. So I'm going to click on my browser and I'm going to find the linkage peg. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm just going to double that. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click 8 and enter. I'm going to do that to actually all of the linkage pegs. All right, everything's spread evenly. We can click the animate, and this run right here does the auto reverse, so it shows you exactly how it goes together and also how it comes apart. I want to save this as the train assembly, and of course, my initials. The next thing I want to do is put that into a drawing. Now I've already downloaded our high school drawing title page, so I'm just going to open that up. You're going to want to check with your teacher on which one you want. Now I want to bring in my train, so I'm going to hit the base, and I'm going to find the train assembly presentation that we just did, the exploded view, and right now it's facing us, so I'm going to hit this home button so it looks like it's isometric finish the view and I'm going to put this on the top of uh, my drawing page click that one time right click OK and then let's bring in the part name so I'm going to go to annotate part list and then I can just click on it and it links it to our assembly I'm going to click OK okay and I'm going to put this on the bottom right and then let's automate this with some balloons and balloons are like labels I'll click on my train and I don't need to click on every single part because some of them are multiples so I want to have at least one of each so I should have nine things clicked Perfect. I'm going to hit select and you can go horizontal. I'm, I like to do the around. I'm going to click there, apply, and cancel that. And now you do want to move some of these balloons around because um, you want them to be able to see and read accurately. I'm going to hit escape to escape from the labeling the balloons. Actually, let's bring that over a little bit. Hit escape. And then I want to um, click, click on here and change the parts because I want to get rid of the um, initials. I want to make this all capital and very professional looking. I want to just make sure that my quantities are all correct. Next thing you'll want to do is use this text box to give it a title and then your name, class period, and our scale. And remember our scale was one quarter. All right, remember to save your work. And this will be one of the drawings that we will print out and we will also want to take a screenshot for our portfolio.
So I'm going to call this train exploded assembly and then your initials. Yes to all. Okay. There you go. All saved. Good job.